Hi everyone, I'm Chaguti, and today we're going to learn about sequences. Sequences refer to a particular order in which related things follow each other. They are used to test your skill to identify patterns. Always think to yourself, what is the pattern between these numbers? Let's work for an example together. The numbers 3, 6, 9 and 12. We need to find out what the next number will be. But before we begin, let's break it down into two steps. The first step is to figure out how you get from the first number in the sequence to the second number. And the second step is to identify if we can use the same pattern to get from the second number to the third. If you have the same pattern, then you have your sequence. Sometimes there are more than one way to get from number one to number two, so always check your answer applies to all the numbers. In this case, we can get from 3 to 6 by either multiplying by 2 or we can also add 3 to 3 to give us 6. So we have identified two patterns. This is either multiply by 2 or add 3. Let's see if the same patterns work from number 2 to number 3. So 6 times 2 gives us 12. We have identified that this is not the third number, so this has to be incorrect. However, 6 plus 3 does in fact equal to 9, meaning that the likely pattern in the sequence is plus 3. So 9 plus 3 also equals to 12. In order to work out our next number, we just add 3 to give us 15. So let's recap. Our steps are first to figure out patterns from number one to number two and second to check if any of the patterns apply to all numbers present. To identify the pattern you can use the four pillars of mathematics to help you break it down. These are addition, subtraction, multiplication or division. If the sequences do not follow any of these patterns you could also consider using square or cube numbers or a combination of all of them. So let's try another example together for the numbers 8, 13, 23 and 38. You can pause the video now if you'd like to have a go yourself. For this example, to get from 8 to 13, you add 5. However, to get from 13 to 23, instead of adding 5, we need to add 10. Similarly, to get from 23 to 38, we need to add 15. Do you note the pattern? As you can see, the numbers of the sequence go up by increasing multiples of 5 each time. So in this pattern, there is a common second difference of plus 5. So to work out our next number, we add 5 to 15 to give us 20. And we add that to our original number in the sequence, 38, to give us 58 and that is our next number. For more helpful resources like this and free tips for your child, visit our website at myelemonpluscourse.co.uk. Thank you.